Hey guys, this is Normal Ward, and today I'm be showing you a computer craft tutor tutorial um, on uh, mining turtles. And there are many types, well, four types actually. There is a turtle, a mine turtle, a wireless turtle, and a wireless mining turtle. I'm only going to be using a mining turtle here. I'll talk about wireless stuff more in another tutorial. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to rattle them on this fresh floppy disk and I'm going to make it boot up on this turtle and perform actions. First I want to show you if you do help turtle 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 um, then it will show you all the functions that the turtle can do and yeah so I'm going to do control R all of the normal things apply to this just like the computer so on the computer I'm going to write a program I'm going to go in the disk directory I'm going to write it on the floppy disk so I'm going to do edit and this is a cool tip you might want to know if you call a program start up then the computer or the turtle next to the disk with the floppy disk or if it's saved on the turtle or on the computer when it starts up it will perform the action so if you've got to call it start up all in lowercase and there we are start up um, so what I'm going to do is write a program okay I've made a basic program here on start up um, turtle forward forward so it goes forward twice and then it will go da dig below itself if there isn't a open air there it will mine it and then it go down and if you don't know when a turtle it has slots here and anything it mines will be collected and also if you want it to place blocks you can put items into these slots and you can use uh, turtle.select to select which slot you want and then turtle place or turtle place up or turtle place down and then it will place blocks around it so anyway, back to the program. Um, does that and it says while true? So this makes a loop. Um, while true do sorry. Um, turtle dot dig turtle dot forward turtle dot dig turtle dot forward. So keep forming this and keep going in line. So save and exit. And you can just place a turtle down like this. And like a computer, it doesn't turn on until you click on it. So what you got to do, you just click on the turtle and then it will just perform it. Now the great thing is because I've saved it to a floppy disk I can do this I can take the floppy disk out put it in there place a turtle click on it and there we are move it one do that place a turtle turn it on and there we are endless slaves digging and they will be collecting resources in this slot here. You could um, make a. I'm not going to teach you everything about programming. Uh, <laughs> that's not what I do. Um, but uh, you can make a loop so it does it, I don't know, 100 times, and each time it sets the value of x, let's say, to a different value. So each time it does it, it will go down by one and then as soon as it's done that it will like come all the way back or something um, so yeah I'll talk more about the wireless turtles in the future um, so that requires no floppy disk it's just a program saved on the turtle I mean I guess yeah you could use floppy disk so you don't have to keep doing it if you want to destroy the turtle um, but yeah, and then you could go from a computer somewhere else, type something in, and send it to the robot. And I'll do that. I'll show that in another tutorial. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.